What's up YouTube, Webbers5 here coming at you tonight with a video requested by Spades asking for the combo of ti Time Thief Lunar Lights with my friend Will. So Will, just take it away please. Hi everyone. So this is the Lunar Light FTK. Uh, you've seen it a million times already I'm sure. Uh, most prominently probably at the most recent YCS that just happened, YCS Ultimate. But it's a free card combo and I'll twist the cards just so as you can see. It's Chick, Tiger and then an extender. In this case we're going to use Perfume which is definitely the best extender to use. Um, and I'm just going to get straight into the combo. If you guys need explanation on what they do, the starting cards. Chick just sends as cost Yellow Martin. Tiger on activation it does nothing, but you have the once per turn effect to res a Lunalite. And then Perfume has just a Monster Reborn effect for the Lunalite archetype, but also has a Banish discard effect to add another, in this case, Tiger. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Ah, and I've dropped one already. So you normal summon the chick, and chick on summon is going to send the yellow martin. Uh, you're going to activate your perfume to res back the yellow martin. Exes into Strix. Strix is going to detach the Yellow Martin to add a Zephyros from the deck. Zephyros, as we all know, wants you to spin a card back into your hand and take 400 life points, summons itself. Actually, it summons itself and then you take the 400. Yeah, doesn't matter too much in this case. It does if you're playing Black Wind Dragon. Yeah. Activate Tiger, Tiger Fetris back the Yellow Martin. Link 2. In this case, it has to be a Dark Link 2. We're just going to use IP for this. And what's making it that it has to be a Dark Link 2? So, Curious, the card that starts off the FTK really and really digs into your deck, you just need to meet the requirements for that, which is, of course, three monsters with the same attribute but different types. So in this case, we've got Dark Attributes, Cybest Typing. We're going to use the Perfume Engrave, banish the Perfume, and then discard the Zephyros. And that's just going to add us another Tiger from the deck. Tiger is once per turn, but not a hard once per turn, so we can just activate Tiger again. Press back a Yellow Martin. Which is a Dark Beast Warrior. Activate Zephyros, bounce Tiger, and take 400. So now, Dark Wing Beast. So now we've got all the requirements for Curious. So we make a Curious. Curious on summon, of course, send us the Ancient Cloak. So the Ancient Cloak is going to banish. Oh, wait, after we mill free from Curious. Now, it doesn't matter what we mill off of Curious as long as it's not a double or nothing or the card we're going to search off of Ancient Cloak. Um, banish the Ancient Cloak to add ourselves the rank up launch. <laughs> Actually, the tiger again. 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 Tiger's gonna res back. We can just do a chick. Doesn't matter too much. Chick can send if you really want. Uh, doesn't really need to. You can activate the Yellow Martin Engrave, bounce back the Tiger. Thinking. Uh, go for Utopia Double. So Exes the two of these into Utopia Double. Utopia Double detach the Yellow Martin, add the Double or Nothing from the deck to the hand. And, and then rank up into Kaiser. Activate the Tiger, Rose back the Martin. Link Summon. Into an Appaloosa. This just gives you extra zones for the second effect of Kaiser. Kaiser effect. Summon out the big eye and number 68. And then from here, all you need to do is literally just set the rank up launch. And Kaiser does have to detach once you summon. Uh, you pass for turn. And then in the main phase, you can activate rank up launch. Uh, 
and you can literally just either rank up launch the number 68 into a true king of all calamities which is pretty good but we're going to rank up into the DDD Dawn King Kali Yuga, which on summon is just going to negate all the effects on the field and your opponent cannot activate or by the player in this case cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the turn and then you've also got a heavy storm as well if they're a back row deck exactly uh, Kali Yuga will literally just be able to detach one of the effects to destroy all the spells and traps in the field or just set one from your grave which you can then activate that turn if you really feel like it pretty much it was very poorly explained because I was just trying to do combos but that's the FTK I reckon so well guys that's the FTK version hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment just below what you thought of it and I'll see you next time so hey, hey guys, so continuing on from the OTK video, here is the Time Thief version of this deck. So. This, is, this is horrible to explain really. So this is a very consistent <laughs> four card combo. So consistent with four cards. Yes. To, to be honest, the only thing that changes here is Winder. So if you see Winder, you get an additional summon, uh, and you also get a search of retrograde, so a spell and trap negation. But apart from that, it's the same three card combo as you normally see, but it's just better off with Winder. Um, it's going to be a bit different. We're going to go into the Time of for this version, um, and it's going to end on pretty much five or six negations normally, uh, with a bit of disruption as well. If you see the winder is just an additional negation. Uh, so we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to try and play upside down for viewing pleasure. So normal Kaleido. Kaleido of course does send all stuff. Sending the yellow mark. Use the perfume to raise the yellow mark. Exes the two of those. Or two of the strix. Use the detach effect of Strix. Add Zephyros. Add Zephyros. Use the Wind effect to summon itself by detaching the Kaleido chip. Use the effect of Winder on summon to add yourself to the time of retrograde. From here, link two into your Lambda. Lambda is going to stay on the field pretty much for the rest of the game here. So Lambda's really safe to go into. If you have a Gamma in your opening hand, then that's fine. Uh, yeah, you can't lose to Nibiru. And if you actually use the Gamma, then you can just uh, have two extra summons to combo off with. Um, use Chick, uh, Tiger, uh, Tiger, Summon back the Chick. Uh, use the effect of Glido to dump the second yellow mark. The whole series is terrible now. Use the effect of Yelamar in bouncing the tiger to the uh, 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 Exes. Into the redoer. Important thing here is the redoer detach is not cost. So you basically will detach the yellow Martin. Not that it makes a difference because you're going to banish it. So. Oh, it, it does. If you detach the yellow Martin by card effect or if the yellow Martin is sent to the grave by card effect, you get to use this effect to add the serenade dance um, which is really important in this case because that's an additional extender so the reader gets banished and you're allowed to trigger the lambda lambda in the end phase is going to search your gamma and then you're able to use the effect of the, um, the yellow martin to add yourself a serenade dance so at this point your hand's looking like this so you've got the tiger the serenade dance the retrograde and the zephyros now you still have in the graveyard your perfume so you can banish the perfume and discard the serenade dance to add yourself another copy of tiger from the deck to the hand be able to activate the tiger res back a collider you can use the Serenade Dance effect to banish and send Zephyros from the hand to the graveyard to get an additional summon. You can just summon Emerald Bird. If you have another Lunar Light card in the hand that isn't Tiger, you can discard it or send it to get an extra draw. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard as well by card effects, so again, Redoer, uh, then you can basically uh, res a Kaleido or the Yellow Mine. Uh, Exe 
just to put it into a perpetua. Put it in defense just because it's got a bigger booty at 25. Look at it. Look at it. That's why we've got the tiger. Tiger effects. So see, we were all there. Res back in line. Uh, Zephyros effect. Bounce the tiger. Gorgeous. Take a 400 burn. But who cares? Link to your ID. Set the retrograde to the field. So at this point, your hands is going to be the tiger. At the end phase, you're allowed to resolve the lambda, getting the set the gamma, and then the redo comes back to the field. And then on your opponent's turn, so now on your opponent's turn, you can use the standby perpetual to attach from your deck the you fly back to the redo. So this is going to be a spin. You can detach the trap to get a spin. But then you can also use the redo to attach one card from the top of your opponent's deck to it as well. So if you see Probably most likely going to be either a spell or a monster, so it's going to be able to either banish itself or draw a card. You can do both, which is a beautiful thing. So from here you have your gamma to negate. And if you resolve the gamma to negate, of course you get the summon of the driver. You've got the redoer to spin, so if you can resolve the spin, then you've also got the flyback effect in grave. So you've managed to resolve the negation off of gamma, you've spun a card from detaching flyback. And potentially drawn a card as well. Yeah. You've got the retrograde to negate and attach a spell or trap to either perpetual or redoer, which also you can just negate a spell and trap, and then detach it off of redoer to get a draw as well. Free, free, free draws, really. You've then also got the IP quick fetch, link off four materials, including the redo to summon a four negate apple user. And yeah, this is literally where it ends pretty much. Um, so you've got. And that's on the opponent's turn. Yeah, this is on the opponent's turn. So it's pretty much relying on your having a monster effect. And you've seen pretty much the same three to four cards every single time, but the amount of draw power you run in the deck, the different extenders, the tankies, the tiger king, all of that should be really consistent to end on something similar to this. Um, and then, as I say, four negates courtesy of Appalooza, a spin courtesy of Redoer. Um, you have the flyback in grave, which is still live, so you can banish the flyback in the grave to attach a material from your opponent's graveyard to Perpetua. So it can really hurt the spiral matchup if they don't pass the plan, but you can just attach it to Perpetua. Um, and then, it's like a more cruel version of DD Crow. Oh yeah, it's 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 nasty. Um, but yeah, that's that's the combo, guys. And then of course in the next turn you've got Perpetua that can bring back the redo, so he can just do his stuff in the game. Yeah, and then you've also got two tigers as well, so you can easily resolve a coral sword. Um, if you did banish um, the redo with the stone effect, you have the lambda to search from the end phase as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the time for fair enough the combo. So hope you guys enjoyed this full combo video. Leave a comment below what you thought of it, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Webers5, and if you're already subscribed, feel free to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload.